So today we're going to be getting into the hive. We're going to do a hive inspection. It's here at the beginning of July and I want to make sure that they're not swarming, that I don't see any mites, uh, that I don't see hive beetles, that they have plenty of room. I peeked under the lid yesterday and just like lifting the uh, cover and the inner cover and it was just chock full of bees. Uh, every single frame had, had bees on it. Uh, so I want to make sure that they have plenty of space. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a honey super. Uh, I'm going to add one of these bad boys on top today to give them a little bit more room. I don't know that they'll be bringing much in or be building a lot of comb, uh, but we're going to see. I also have some new tools to play with. I have a brand new hive tool from... Uh, finally came in the mail, and my brother gave me a little butane torch to help out with lighting the smoker. Um, lighting the smoker has been a headache. I know there's all sorts of videos on YouTube. Everybody's got a different opinion on how to do it. Uh, but just starting a little fire in the smoker was getting really old, so having this thing is really going to make it go a lot faster. I can just shove this in it, get it started. Um, and, and I won't have any issues. It, it'll just start right up. So let's get into the hive and see what there is to see today. I've also seen lots of people having success using a Swiffer in the top of their box to trap hive beetles. So we're going to try that out today too. Now here's how the hive is looking. Some coming and going. I said they were latticing a little bit. So we're gonna get them a little smoke. Pop this open, do a little inspecting, and then get them a honey super. See what that inner cover is looking like. Now this is a good looking frame. I'm gonna pull this one out. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, about five and a half frames. They're doing uh, they're really building out. This is very heavy. You can see this is just full of nectar. On the other side, just my camera, one handed. On the other side, you can see at the top they've started to cap the comb. It's looking good. So we are still here up in the honey super and you can see this little lady is trying to hatch. So this queen's been doing lots of laying. You can see all sorts up here in the top hive. I don't know if that's something I need to be careful of at the end of the summer, making sure she's in the bottom box. I think so. But it's the middle of summer right now. It's not a worry. My smoker went out. I'll say that's one nice thing about this little torch is it can just, it can just start it right back up. Right, and here's what we're looking at in the bottom box. And just tons of bees. I'm gonna scrape a little comb off, I'll do a little inspecting. 
but I'm about ready to be done over here today. Well, they're drawing it out, but it's empty. It's light as a feather. Hey there, little lady. And a little bit of drawn out comb, but nothing else really. Into the hive, ladies. Back into the hive. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. That is a pretty, pretty hive of honey. A frame of honey. Some brood, lots of capped brood. This is that ugly frame. You can kind of see they've built away from the foundation. I'll have to get some more, some more frames so I can replace that one out eventually. Tons of brood. Beard and hard. Alright. So I think I've seen what I need to see. You can see they're bearding on the back here now. And this box is just roaring. While this box is just quiet and calm as can be. That means. That makes me think that the queen is still maybe up here. And she's not here where everybody's so rowdy. Oh, jeez. For whatever reason, the ladies really wanted to beard back here on the back. Maybe because I had put the top board back here and so they were all trying to climb back into the hive. I'm not exactly sure. But these ladies are buzzing all around. They are riled up. So, uh, hive inspection went really well. I was able to uh, add the honey super that I wanted to add. Uh, lots of nectar, lots of brood. I think with the population where it's at and it, all those uh, capped brood, those ladies that were hatching today, that we're going to see just another explosion in population. So I'm glad I got that extra box on. Hopefully they'll continue to um, build out those frames. They'll continue making comb. Uh, it is drying up, you know, it's getting towards the middle of July, it's really hot, so I'm thinking about starting to feed them some sugar again, you know, keep things, uh, keep things going so that they don't stall out, so that they can continue to build comb and, and store some food away. I don't want them to, uh, I don't want them to not survive the winter, because 
we're not giving them the resources now. So I'm gonna see about doing that. I'm gonna make sure they're getting plenty of water. We built that uh, built that water for the bees a couple weeks ago, and they haven't been using it. I haven't seen them in, in there at all. I did get a bee out of the cat's water bowl today, but that's the first time I've seen a bee in the, in the water. So I think they are going down to the creek. Uh, the new tool for the smoker was great. Thanks, Uncle Steven. Thanks, Shanyata Farm, for that uh, come up. And uh, so, yeah, very successful hive inspection. Um, we're just going to give them a couple weeks off. We're going to just see what they continue to do and let them do their bee thing. So, thanks for watching. Leave me some pollen in the comments if you have any thoughts, if you have any uh, experience of your own. And join the hive. Bye.